You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. Somebody gave you a guarantee, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, if you don't make what they told you you're gonna make, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back to yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, who let you die? You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the economy. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because it ain't the season. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the opportunity ain't there. The truth of the matter is that you ain't there because you ain't there. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. And there's some of you, you know what you want, but you are not personally willing to do the work it takes to get it. What you're trying to do is do what you've done on this level and get the next level. You're like, I'm getting up every day. I'm putting in two and a half. I'm putting in three, and I'm not getting the opportunity. The opportunity might require getting up and working out three and a half. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. It might require you moving to another city. Whatever it takes, you gotta be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else because it's easier to blame somebody else. That's the problem with some of you. You always wanna hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more alcohol, no more, no, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. We're tired of the 60% you. We're tired of this crying you, this complaining you. We're tired of this furniture. Greatness is in you, you are here. You here, leave your dog on mark. You here, do something. So whatever you gotta do, you do it. And if those of you who were this close, but you compromised, you let your feelings get the best of you. It's time for you to cut average. It's time for you to cut good so you can finally get to great. There are no excuses. When will the excuses stop? When will you see your purpose bigger than your excuse? I don't know your name. But I know you have a dream. I don't, I don't know where you're from or where you're listening to me. You may be listening to me in your closet, your bedroom, the gym, the car, the bus, the train, the plane. I don't know where you're going, but I know you are going somewhere. You've got a destination. People that make excuses are not connected to their destination. They don't have an end game. They don't have a goal. You have allowed yourself to become a weak link covered under the blanket of excuses, but I'm just wondering if there's anybody here that has a dream, and if you've made your excuses bigger than your dream, the time is now to apply pressure. It may not be easy, but it's not impossible. This is not a I feel like it today. This is not an I'm motivated for a week. This is an every single day mentality. You may have to work three times. You may have to lose sleep. You may have to go to college and raise five children and still maintain your marriage and work your side hustle. I don't know what your story is, but if you will keep a no excuse mentality, then the sky is not your limit. The sky is your starting point. This is an every single day mentality. I never get turned off. Every single day, I want my destiny. I want my dream. 